Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Well, we got a storm last night. We got some pretty impressive rainfall totals. So we actually ended up registering a 0.57 inches of rain in El Paso and Juarez, 0.42 in Las Cruces, more than half an inch, which is very exciting because we've been so dry this monsoon. But for the year, we are still very much behind. We're actually only a quarter where we should be. So for the month, we registered 0.28 inches of rain. We should be at 0.82 for the year we're at 1.4 we should be at 4.7 so it's been a very dry year unfortunately very hot and we do have another chance of storms for tonight but not looking too promising for today things seem to be pretty quiet this morning we were tracking a storm uh, close to hatch but that seems to be dying down as far as this morning it is slightly chilly this morning so 68 degrees is where we're at winds not too bad but it is going to be a breezy day winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour so extra hairspray ladies not only is it going to be huge Mid, but it's going to be a little bit breezy in Las Cruces 64 degrees winds at five miles per hour. We're looking very gusty towards the east this morning in Guadalupe Pass 35 mile per hour gusts only 10 right now in El Paso, but it's going to be a beautiful morning as you're dropping off those kiddos at school we will be in the 70s for most of your morning 80s by 10 a.m. and then 90s by 2 o'clock with those cloudy skies, but we still have a lot of monsoon moisture in our atmosphere. We actually could be seeing uh, some flooding in northern New Mexico around Albuquerque, but as far as for us, it's not looking too promising. So here's a look at your future satellite. You'll notice some scattered showers, especially towards the west, but overall it really doesn't seem like a big storm is going to be moving through in El Paso. And if we actually look at our forecast or forecast rainfall, this is only picking up 0 0.01 inches of rain in Las Cruces. So not a lot, unfortunately, but at least we'll have those cloudy skies. So 10% for tonight, 100 degrees. Once again, tomorrow for Wednesday, it is going to be hot and humid this week. So just be prepared. 101 on Thursday, 100 on Friday. It looks like we'll cool down a little bit for your weekend. 98 on Saturday, 98 seven on Sunday. As of right now, it looks like next week we're just going to be staying in the 90s, which is a very nice change. And then more rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.